Hi everybody, it's Mindy. And it's been a long time since I've done a book video. <laughs> yeah, they're a little harder to do. It takes more setup and you know, hair, makeup, you know, all that stuff. Anyhow, I'm gonna do a few of them in a row. I might have the same clothes on, who knows? <laughs> Anyhow, what do I have today? I have my bookcase club, yay. Okay, so this was for, I don't know, hmm, May, maybe? Early May, I guess. So let's see what we got. All right, let's get into it. What do we have? They're always nicely wrapped in tissue paper and stuff. So, all right. I know I'm making a lot of noise. I'm trying to get into it. Can't find the way in. <laughs> all right, two books in here. All right, I got them, I got them. All right, we found our way in. Let's get rid of that box. All right, what do we have? The thing about these is they're always a surprise. You never know. It's always, you know, something interesting. All right, so the first one is called How to Fall in Love with a Man Who Lives in a Bush. <laughs> I don't have a clue. How to Fall in Love with a Man Who Lives in a Bush. Emmy Abram, Abrahamson, Abrahamson? I don't know. How do you even know the man's in the bush to fall in love with him? I have no idea. Um, let's see. When was this one published? That's always interesting to see. These are usually about two years out. No, this one was 2016. Okay, so this one's a little bit older. Anybody ever heard of How to Fall in Love with a Man Who Lives in a Bush? Well, let's find out what it's about. All right, so it says, um, Vienna. Famous for Mozart, waltzes, and pastry. Less famous for Julia, a Swedish, Swedish, I can talk, Swedish transplant who spends her days teaching English to unemployed Austrians and her evenings either watching Netflix with her cat or club hopping with a frenemy. <laughs> okay. As an inspiring novelist, Julia is full of ideas for future bestsellers. A writer moves his family to a deserted hostel in the dead of winter and spirals into madness. A homely governess loves a brooding man whose crazy wife is locked up in the attic. Huh, what? Why, why is his wife in the attic? Fine, those books have been written. That doesn't mean Julia won't think of something original. Ah, uh, that was supposed to be the book. Okay. Then something original finds Julia. She sits down next to her on the beach. As a matter of fact, Ben is handsome. Oh, it's a he. Handsome, under all the beard, and adventurous. He's also sexy as hell and planning to shuffle off to Berlin before things can get too serious. Oh, and Ben <laughs> lives in a public park under a bush. Why? Why? Why does he live under a bush? <laughs> um, here comes, begins the reality, stranger than fiction, Julia might have imagined. A whirlwind relationship with a guy who shares her warped sense of humor and shakes up the just okay existence she has been too lazy to change. I hope he doesn't want her to go live under the bush with him. That would be weird, wouldn't it? Um, she keeps telling herself that this is a chapter in her life, not the whole book. If she writes the ending, she can't get hurt. But what if the ending isn't hers to write? I don't know. Okay, very interesting. I, I don't know. She's trying to write books. There's this dude lives under a bush. Something happens. I, you go figure it out. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Um, this one is called The Honey Don't List. Oh, all right. Oh, this is an author I know, Christina Lauren. I've heard a lot about Christina Lauren. She's all over booktube quite often. People are talking about her books. I have never read a Christina Lauren. I don't even think I own one. So that's interesting. Christina Lauren, The Honey Don't. I mean, you know, we don't have a honey do list around here because, mm, no. Uh-uh. So anyhow, um... Carrie has worked for home remodeling and design guru Melissa and Rusty Trip, <laughs> Rusty Trip, for a whole decade. She's a country girl at heart. Carrie started in their first store at 16 and more than anyone would suspect, suspect has helped them to build their empire. With a new show and a book about to launch, the trips are on the verge of superstardom. There's only one problem. America's favorite couple can't stand each other. Do you ever wonder when you see those shows, you know, those home improvement shows and things where there's, you know, couples working together, do they really like each other? I mean, they're married, they live together, then they got to work together, put on a TV show, do they like each other? 
Sometimes they don't. You know they don't. They get divorced, right? Um, James, who's an MIT graduate and an engineering genius, was originally hired as a structural engineer, but the job isn't all he thought it would be. The last straw. Both he and Carrie must go on a book tour with the trips and keep the wheels from falling off the proverbi pro proverbial bus. Proverbial bus. <laughs> all right. So they got to keep this couple together while they uh, venture off. And they're all together uh, on this road trip with the trips up the West Coast. And they have to work together and keep their boss's secrets hidden and then keep their own jobs secure. But they stop playing along and they start playing for keeps. They may have the chance to build something beautiful together. All right. Okay. Home improvement show, feuding couple, other couple, trying to keep that couple together. Da 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 da. Sounds interesting. Sounds very interesting. I might have to give this one a go. I've heard good things about Christina Lauren. So, the Christina Lauren Honey Don't List and this How to Fall in Love with a Man Who Lives in a Bush. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there you have it, yes. That's what I got in my um, bookcase club box. And I think that was May's box, yes. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you've read either of these or know of these authors. I bet you a lot of you will know Christina Lauren. I mean, she's pretty popular. I don't know about Amy. Amy Abrahamson. Abrahamson. <laughs> having a difficult time pronouncing things today. And the guy who lives under the bush. All right. There you go, guys. Um, I will see you next time. And that'll be in just a couple minutes, actually, because I'm going to make another video now. But you won't know that. Okay. Busy, busy. I'll see you. Bye.